Thanks for joining us today here at Keystone Lawn and Tree Care. Today we have a special guest, Phil from Phil's Lawn Care. How you doing, Chris? Thank you so much for having me. Hey, thanks for coming. And today we're going to make a short and sweet video about how much to charge in the lawn mowing industry. This is kind of a personal subject to me because when I was first getting started, I didn't know how much to charge and it's really hard. Mm -hmm. In fact, I ran into a guy this summer who's a fan of our channel and he didn't know what to charge either and he gave up and he quit and he went back to having a regular job. So I feel kind of bad for that guy and I wish you know this sort of stuff was available. We're just gonna tell you pricing, how much we charge and why. Yeah. And uh, I, you know, I thought, well, let's bring Phil on and that way you get information from the both of us, not just one guy telling you how much to charge, but maybe another guy to kind of bounce, bounce some ideas off of, of how much to charge. And so we're just going to talk, we're just, just jump right into it, you know? Yeah. So how much should you charge for lawn mowing services in the Spokane area? It might be a little bit more or less in your area, but we're talking in the inland Northwest. My pricing right now as of the... Uh, 2023 is $55 a minimum for lawn mowing services. Just plain old yard, not splitting hairs, $55. And if what that's you all you about? wanted, you can leave now and, that's and right. close down the video. $55, yeah. you can stop watching <laughs> that's now. That's it, there's your, there's your answer. Right? <laughs> Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe before <laughs> you stop watching. <laughs> what do you think, is $55 no, honestly, fair? I think it is. I honestly do. The, the market that we're in, we're jumping into 2024 now, and $25, $30, $40 even lawns don't exist anymore. Nope. Uh, I understand that some people's budgets uh, might, those numbers might you know, be understandable, might exist. However, if you're a professional, if you're doing this you know, professionally, with all the overhead, with all the yep. costs of doing business, of how high we're up there in costs and uh, expenses, 40, or I'm sorry, 50, 55 is right around the ballpark. Yeah, absolutely. And again, we're talking about professional lawn mowing services where you license, bonded, and insured. We're not talking about being a kid pushing lawn mower around the block. If you're a kid watching this, awesome. You could probably get away with charging 25, 30 bucks to mow lawn. Yeah. But if you're a professional, you're paying your taxes, you're paying your L&I, you know, you're paying your employees, you have expenses, you have insurance, you have your bond with the city, you have all these expenses, you have to charge $55 is what I charge. And uh, I'm actually thinking about increasing my rates to $57.50 for four lawn mowings a month. That's an extra 10 bucks a month. What do you think? Is an extra 10 bucks a month doable? It's doable and there's uh, no hard feelings about raising your rates every year, you know? Yeah. It's just something that we have to do because it's so it's it's unfair. Like they they raise the rates of groceries, right? Every yeah. single year. They don't they don't ask. They, they don't. <laughs> you know, no no one really bats an eye at lawn care guys, right? Everyone thinks that they're gonna pay the exact same rate every single year, and that their rate shouldn't be. And we're talking from a customer perspective, right? The customers don't understand that. Yeah, everything else gets raised, and they they somehow think that lawn care shouldn't get raised, like their rate, Why their not? Verizon bill, or I'm sorry, their cell phone bill yeah, yeah. goes up every single year. How come you know lawn care doesn't you know get raised every single year? So raising your rates is is a whole nother topic, but it's it part it, of business. Part of business, and it Absolutely. ties into how much you should charge, um, because progressively as you go on every single year, your rate will go up. Mm -hmm. So then the answer changes, you know, depending on when you're listening to this, of course. Yeah, yeah. I just got a letter in the mail from the Department of. of uh, Labor and Industries, the LNI folks, and my per hour rate for LNI has gone up. It's a dollar and seventy four cents per hour. I have to pay for the insurance, the mm -hmm. I guess the health insurance or the industry labor and industry charges me a buck seventy four an hour for every hour these guys are working. So if I am paying, let's just say keep numbers easy, let's say I'm paying my guy twenty bucks an hour. As the employer, I have to pay twenty now all of a sudden twenty one seventy five. Right. Not to mention the unemployment that I have to pay on top of that, which is like another forty cents an hour or something like that. So now we're up to twenty two, say twenty ish, and then I have to pay the Social Security. I have to pay the Medicare. I have to pay. Oh boy, I have to pay all these extras. Oh, well, family leave and Medicare. So the labor burden on top of the $20 an hour that I have to pay as an employer 
is suddenly like 23, 24 bucks an hour. So I'm not just paying my employee 20 bucks an hour. In fact, I'm paying them almost $24 an yeah. hour. Yeah. And the customer, they don't see any of this in the background. No. No. They don't know that my insurance rates are what, $4,000 a year. They don't know that my bond with the city is $15,000 a year. They don't know, which is finance. I don't pay $15,000 a year every year. It's finance, but then the customer may not realize these things in the background, which is fine. I mean, they just don't know, but that's what Mon Moyne comes to $55. I think a lot, that question comes up a lot when guys are just starting out and they might not have all the professional equipment. Um, would that answer, would that answer fluctuate? I think, I know you mentioned like a kid down the street might charge 25, 30, but realistically, would that number, should that number change if a guy is just starting his lawn care business and just starting out, but doing it professionally? Yeah, I suppose if you're a one man show, you don't have to pay L and I. You don't have to pay L and I on yourself as an employee. Yeah, as you don't a, have the employees. Owner. Yeah, yeah, you don't have employees. Yeah, sure, certainly. Uh, my pricing is going to be fifty five, and in fact, uh, let's just say it, I'm going to go with fifty seven fifty. Uh, per yard, but the guy who's doing it solo, not having to pay the L and I, is not having to pay Social Security, he doesn't have any employees. Yeah, sure, he could get away with paying, maybe charging forty-five or fifty bucks, I mm -hmm. suppose. Uh, but again, what are you getting with the larger outfit? You're getting consistency. You're getting, you know, a name that's been around for a while. You're getting a trustworthy person that's been mowing your lawn for ten years or whatever. You know, so when you're first getting started. You have to develop all of those things, and so I suppose you sacrifice a little bit on your pricing. Yeah. I think. Uh, as a, um, let's just say I'm a first time, you know, first year in business guy. My number one question would be like, okay, Chris, well, you told me that it's 55. I'm going to be in the ballpark of around 45, 50. Okay. How do you get to that number? Now I understand that there's costs included, but how do you get to that specific number? And I don't want specific. We're not going to do calculations right yeah. now. But uh, when I look at a lawn, yeah, every lawn is different. We're talking minimum rates right now, right? Yeah, yeah. So 50 bucks, and the customer says, how do you get to that number? You know, how do you magically come up that it's going to be a $50 minimum lawn? How do I, Chris, explain to this customer that, well, um, everything is included. Like, all of my costs of doing business is included. This is included. That is included. And... I'm sure no one is ever going to ask a breakdown of a price of, of no. you know, what it's all uh, tied into. But um, how do I, for myself, calculate that $50 mark? Um, is it uh, you take the number of the days uh, or weeks that you mow, divide it by the amount of times that you do it? You know, how do you get to that number? I suppose there's a couple of ways you can get to the number. One, for myself personally, I have a goal. I have a daily goal of about $1,000 a day, gross. I know, I had, and so if I can mow, say, 15 yards divided by roughly 1,000, you know, what is that looking like per yard? Mm -hmm. You can go that way. You can have a goal for yourself, set it really high, and say, well, how do I get to that goal? Well, I have to charge 55 or 60 bucks a yard or whatever the case may be. So that goal can be a gross or it can be an hourly rate, right? Yeah, yeah. Like I, I want to make 30 or 50 or 60 yeah, bucks what is, Yeah, hour well, how valuable something. is your time? Because I suppose, you know, you could just get a, any old job working anywhere for whatever, 15 or 20 bucks an hour. Mm -hmm. And that's kind of the, the standard, right? Yeah. I mean, I can go to Safeway and they're hiring cash at the bag boy at 17 or 18 bucks yes. an hour, right? And I don't have to have my own equipment. I don't have to have insurance. I don't have to have any of that. Show All up. I do is show up. <laughs> yeah. And yeah. even I don't only have to show up just part of the time. You know? Right. Yeah. And so there's that baseline of kind of about the $20 an hour rate. But then you got to calculate on the other side, if you want to go out and like, the other way is you think about well, what are all these things costing me, you know? How much does it cost for my gas every day? How much does it cost for insurance? How much does it cost for my cell phone? You know, and at first, when you're very first getting started, you don't have those numbers. Yeah. You don't know how much gas you spend in a week, you know, figuring it out. You know, you don't know how much your insurance is going to cost. You don't know how much you know, your tires or your, or whatever is going to cost. You don't really know. So it, it is, it is hard. I mean, you can go about it from having the daily goal or you go about it from the back end is how much does it cost me. But if you don't know how much it costs you, it's hard to 
it's hard to come up to with a price. At the end of the day, use a really good CRM and keep track of all your numbers. Absolutely, <laughs> absolutely, yeah, yeah. yeah it you have comes to, down to that. You, you know? have to keep track of all your stuff. But uh, what I can tell you is that you have your base point in the mowing, let's say $55. That's what we're charging nowadays. But a way to make more money is having your upsells for the property at the time you spent. So I mow the lawn for $55 have an upcharge to spray and round up every month, once a month, maybe around the cracks of the driveway or the mm. sidewalk for say $15. Yep. And maybe I'll even expand it into the flower beds. Maybe I'll zap a few weeds growing up in the flower beds for an additional $15. Um, I'm gonna fertilize the grass every six to eight weeks for $50, right? Mm. So I have these extra things that are built in that make a lot of money. That's where you really start to make your money. You don't really make your money with just doing the lawn mowing, you're making money with the upsells, I'd say. Gotcha, yeah. Well, that's that's really good information right there. I mean, you know, start having a starting minimum rate is something that needs to be set in stone and figured out like day one, Yeah. right? Because you can't go out there, everyone can go out there. We all started with the push mower and we didn't know what to charge. Right. But having mm -hmm. that base rate, having that set up um, on day one, just knowing and understanding that, hey, if I'm gonna start this thing, whether I'm doing it part-time, whether I'm a weekend warrior and just wanting some extra money on the side, I still need to understand what I need to charge. Yeah. And so having that set in stone will will result in you not, um, you know, having to worry about oh I'm I'm not making any money because I'm charging so little. You know, you're actually gonna be making some money um, for for whatever reason that you yeah. decide to. There's uh, no industry standard per se in our line of work of how much should you charge for lawn mowing. You know, if you're gonna open up a coffee shop, say, and you can just scope out the local Starbucks and you have a baseline of mm -hmm. how much you should charge for a cup of coffee, roughly. Exactly. Right, yeah. there's a Starbucks. There is no Starbucks in the lawn mowing industry. There no. is no standard of how much you should charge, quote unquote. A baseline yeah. and that's what we're trying to establish is helping you create that standard create that $50 $55 or $60 standard or your for your cup of coffee for your Starbucks so, yeah you know it's it's really hard but that's that's what we charge in our part of the neck of the woods here is about 50 55 -ish. I agree yeah and you call up any company right now and they'll be around that price range. Absolutely. That's the thing. Yeah. Yeah. Because you can any, secret shop, I suppose. You could. Yeah. yeah. Call around, you know, three, four companies and just say, hey, what's your minimum rate? I got a yeah. super tiny yard, 2,000 square feet of grass. Yeah. What do you charge? You know? And that's one thing I did when I started out because I didn't know how, to, how else to figure <laughs> yeah. out the numbers. Yeah. You know, I guess I could talk to a few individuals, but primarily you just call around and say, hey, yeah. what do you guys charge for this? You know, I got a super small, tiny lawn. Here's my address. Use your, you know, parents' address or something <laughs> yeah, yeah. to cover up your tracks. <laughs> but uh, you got to figure it out somehow. Yeah. So that's one way to do it. That uh, call up those professional companies, not those fly-by nights. Yeah, you call know? up the Starbucks. E exactly. Yeah, call up the Starbucks of lawn care companies, and see what they're charging. So that way you can kind of get a fine, fine tune, fine medium of what you should be charging in your neck of the woods. Yeah, so Phil, we're, we said at the beginning of the video that we're gonna try to keep this short and sweet <laughs> and say how much do we charge in lawnmower. Yeah. About $55 is what we've yeah. come to. Yeah. And the both of us seem to agree that seems like a pretty fair rate. Uh, leave your comment below. What do you think? Is $55 too much? Should it be more, less? Tell us your thoughts. I already know we're gonna get blasted in the comments. <laughs> People are like, 55, man, what? no way, that's like, that's way too much. Or someone's gonna be like, that's, Dude, my minimum's a hundred. You know, yeah, whatever. That's yeah. how. That's how crazy. That's how much of a difference we have. You know, in, in markets around the United States. Yeah. So. So before we go, uh, Phil, why don't you plug your uh, your uh, channel? How can people get in contact with you or watch your stuff? Yeah, I mean, Phil's Lawn Care on YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, TikTok. Uh, you can find me there. I do like lawn mowing videos, lawn makeover. So if you're into satisfying, entertaining, or even like some uh, how, how do you mow a lawn and how do you do a lawn overgrown lawn? I'll show you, I literally show you every process. I might not explain to you, but I'll show it to you. Great. So I also have the Phil's Lawn Care Plus channel, which is more behind the scenes. We kind of go in depth on the maintenance side of things. We show you how to repair equipment. We also show you um, we, some of our old footage uh, 
Chris and I have actually done a few videos. So if you go yeah. way into the archives, <laughs> you'll find our, some of our interviews and we go in depth in detail on some lawn care topics. So uh, I also have a podcast. So if you want to you know, learn how to um, you know, grow a lawn care company and also make some additional income uh, doing some lawn makeover videos or some social media, whatever it might be, content creation in general, look me up. It's called the Think Green Podcast. Awesome. Well, thanks, Phil, for joining us. I know you got a busy day. You got a lot going on. Thanks for popping in and giving us your two cents. Yes, sir. Appreciate All right. it. Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you next time. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the like, and comment <laughs> down below. <laughs> thanks. All cool. right. I think that was a pretty good take. It's like yeah.